another venue. I'm standing for Weber. Um, this time we took the camper and we're off to DSCA where we're going to have the race of the 24 hours of Le Mans. Well, here we have, of course, Mr. Le Mans himself, Gary. Um, all the tables are full with idiots tuning the cars. Um, I thought there were 13, 13 teams, a lot from England this time. Here is our Mark running on the Paul Ricard circuit because the Le Mans is this time not in England but in Belgium. And for now, it's um, we were here over here yesterday, and now it's time for I think practice in qualifying. And yeah, it's it's one of my favorite circuits. And as you can see, normally there is an, uh, a band over here, and they took it out. So we now let's see if I get it on in filming. We have a very long straight. Yeah. So these are the cars, and now I have to go to the podium because I have to start the race. I am the beginner tonight, today. Thirteen cars on the track. That's, that's a little bit busy and crowded. Here, yeah, that's the one, two, and you know uh, uh, the principle of Le Mans: all cars, LMP, LMP2, GT, everything drives with each other. by yourself it's going it's going fast really yep. one out and uh, there's all uh, classes uh, uh, drive to each other and it's a long long way to go what a magnificent straight it is now Oh, that's our car.
Well, good evening or good night, good morning, wherever you are. It's uh, a quick update from Mechelen in Belgium for the 24 hours of uh, a Paul Ricard circuit. I I'm live now and I uh, want to give you a, an idea of what it is like driving the 24 hours, the 24 hour oxygen digital race here in um, uh, Mechelen at night. Let's uh, turn to the to the track and uh, this is the track with uh, the light that is left. There is just the right amount of light to drive. It is, it is challenging really. It is challenging to race at night with this uh, dark condition and uh, it is uh, really, if you look at the rostrum, especially when you are on one edge of the rostrum and you have to drive and uh, recognize your car when you are at the other end of the track. Um, one of the most difficult things to do is actually be able, when you are in traffic, to tell which one is what. So, as you can see, maybe, uh, no, I doubt, uh, but in, in any case, most cars have a LED either on the side or inside the, uh, either on the side or inside the cockpit with uh, a different color from the front light or rear light, which allows you, allows the, the driver, when you're in the rostrum, to to recognize the car, uh, I cannot say easily, but at least to somehow recognize the car. It takes a lot of concentration, and uh, I will show you um, probably from a better angle. Like I said, it takes a lot of concentration to drive at night in traffic and not lose your car. Because of course, if you lose sight on your car and you start driving mistaking it someone somebody else's car then it's really very very difficult it's a big problem for for the racers and okay i was i was probably shouting that because i was obstructing some driver's view of huh? yeah So they were actually shouting at me because inadvertently I was in the middle of the view from the rostrum. Here is the rostrum. There's this long straight down the, from the Virage du Pont because you may be able to see during the day each turn is marked with a proper name. The number you see is the marshalling position because every hour marshal positions rotate. So I am in uh, one of the uh, most difficult marshalling positions here, number three. And uh, if I were marshalling, which I'm not, um, I would be actually tasked to pick up the cars when they go through the hairpin which 
you are looking at now. So let me move to another place which is fundamental and uh, vital during this sort of race. A, there's a big screen here. This is uh, telling the driver who is leading. This is the, actually the leaderboard. And uh, for those who are not familiar with oxygen, we well, last look at the refreshment desk. Quite indispensable during, as you can see, the long night of the 24 hours. Oops. You may also as I see the, how big this club is. It's a wonderful, really a wonderful slot car club here in Mechelen, Belgium. And I'm sure that if any one of you that is watching my video now is one day going through this area of Europe, well, you'd be more than welcome to come and uh, join for a race or at least a beer or a coffee. I think it's all for now. I'll be back. I'll have, now it's my turn to marshal and I will be back uh, before the end of the race. Thank you for watching and uh, if, it, if it is for you nighttime, good night. <laughs>